Imagine a modern, state-of-the-art military headquarters like NATO's Supreme Allied Commander transformation. Daily, thousands of emails are exchanged between SAC-T and other military headquarters and organisations around the world. Daily, hundreds of important documents arrive and leave the command. The data flow is overwhelming and in our modern world, the biggest challenge is to extract key information. Military leaders are making important decisions based on this extracted key information provided by staff. The challenge is, how can we make sure that we give our military leadership the most accurate information available at the time of the decision? Allied Command Transformation is the Warfare Development Command and our job is to adapt the military instrument in order to meet those challenges for the future. One of the great challenges we face in the Alliance is the world is not standing still. We have to adapt, uh, otherwise we will become less effective in the future. That's why AI Felix is so important. It's allowed us to start to explore and to demonstrate the opportunities of AI, whilst also making ourselves far more efficient. It's a compelling glimpse of an essential part of our future. So, what is AI Felix and what can it do? AI Felix is an artificial intelligence enabled tool developed in-house that is able to read hundreds of incoming documents received every day, extracts and analyzes key information, distributes it to the right recipient, creates and tracks progress of taskers, integrates them into a military campaign plan, and learns with every single step to self-improve with human interaction. AI Felix is an exportable tool that can be used not only within the enterprise of the Alliance, but probably could be exported to ministries and departments of national defense with your contributing allied nations. How does it affect the work within SACT? I'm very excited about AI Felix, and I'll tell you why. One of the areas that Allied Command Transformation is leading on behalf of the Alliance is how do we take the great opportunities provided by technology and apply those to our capabilities in order that they remain at the forefront of military capability across the world. We're doing that on behalf of the nations in order to make sure that we remain at the cutting edge of military capability ahead of our adversaries and can provide our governments with the opportunities and the capabilities that they require.